the walk down the tunnel and the wrestling event, it was that was that was like a different thrill. I felt like I felt like the Undertaker came yeah. to somebody <laughs> like for like a real wrestler coming in. I thought 100%. I thought yeah, I thought I was gonna go to, to battle. I was gonna say, did you want it? Yeah, yeah. I ain't want to. It was, <laughs> Bobby Lashley a pretty big dude. I ain't want no smoke. Yeah. Or like that. <laughs> for real, for real. So I'm here with the heart and soul of the bench mob. Even though he wasn't here at the inception of the bench mob, we gave him that title pretty quick. We're gonna talk about what it was like going through a summer as an NBA champion. Yeah. So first and foremost, the WWE appearance. How was it? How did it come about? We won a championship on the 20th. Yep. And then on the 22nd, we had the parade. And uh, I'm in a player's garage and I'm just chilling. Alex Lowry comes and gives me a, uh, a present, just gives it to me. And he said, open it. And I opened it, and then I just put it on. I ain't even opened the whole the whole belt up. Yeah. I ain't know I ain't know it was a belt first and foremost. And he's opening it again, and I opened it. He said, "Oh yeah, um, WWE sent you this because you're the people's champ." And I'm like, "Wow, this is an honor." Yeah. And then uh, they invited me to come to the wrestling event um, a couple of weeks later, so it was it was fun too. Plus, like you know, as a basketball player, the thrill of you know, coming out here, your name called or whatever yeah. during the game, but to walk down the tunnel and the wrestling event, it was that was that was like a different thrill. In basketball, that's our job. We're used to that now. It's something that you get up for every single night. You never love it any less. But having it be outside of the arena you're used to, what was it like? I felt like I felt like the Undertaker carrying yeah. somebody. <laughs> like, I felt like a real wrestler coming. In. I thought 100%. I thought yeah I thought I was gonna go to to. Battle. I was gonna say, did you want it? Yeah yeah. I ain't want to. It was, <laughs> Bobby Lashley a pretty big dude. I ain't want no smoke or yeah. like that. For real, for real. Anything else within the summer as an NBA champ? Anything else that's happened that is memorable? Something that like you'll never forget. I know it was a shortened off season. We didn't really get to live it up like a lot of, you know, the past NBA champs. We probably do that next summer. But anything that was most memorable? Probably you know? like the most memorable thing for me this off season was um, I have a foundation that supports single moms. Yep. And uh, my mom was a single mom growing up, so I got the passion from her. So, and we have basketball camps for the kids, and we have free bowling events and things like that. I knew I was getting the key to my city on that Sunday, but I didn't know I was getting my own day. So I have my own day every year, August 15th, is Bobby Porter's day in Little Rock, Arkansas. That's awesome. Yeah, that's different. Like, I yeah. start crying and all that. Like, I ain't even cry we won a championship, but right. I cried that day. I don't know why, it just, it hit different. Like, you yeah. don't know, it was, it was special. Especially, like, having my, my mom there who's been there through me with all the highs and lows. That's just yeah. a different type of feeling. For sure. Inspiration for the next generation yeah, back absolutely. home. Absolutely. So with your foundation, I know you said obviously you got it from your mom and how has you, how, how'd you start it and how has it grown or where do you see it growing? Obviously it started with my mom. She was a single mom. She had four kids. She worked tirelessly to take care of me and my little brothers to the utmost as much as she can. Never seen her complain or none of that. She just always got to do what she got to do to provide for us. And uh, now it's, it's been growing each and every year. Like we've been doing different events, Christmas events. Um, Thanksgiving giveaways, uh, Mother's Day drive, or to, for, to the mothers just getting their feet done, pampering, just to, you know, sometimes it's just always good to give a helping hand to others. Um, that's what it is. Like, my biggest thing is always try to motivate and inspire the next. The highest human act is to inspire, and that's what I just love to do. That's really cool. And how have you seen it with your younger brothers from what you've done, and now you have obviously Kia City, but your own day back home. Now it goes beyond just your immediate brothers. It's the kids from Little Rock, Arkansas. It's actually kind of different, like, cause like people say my little brothers, like now they're 17, 18, and 20. Like, right. I'm like, my little brother's 20. But like just seeing them grow up so yeah. fast and just seeing how fast they mature and things like that, it's great. Especially just watching them grow since they was kids. I remember them coming out, you know, and I asked my mom for one little brother and I got three, like back to back to back. So being able to, you know, be the best I can and everything I do just to, because I always know like my little brothers and them always watching everything I do. So I have to make a, a good example for them, but to be from where I'm from and be in this position to be a champion, to motivate and inspire all the kids from back home in Little Rock, that's just my biggest inspiration right now. And I, I love everything that we're doing. That's awesome. Good for you. 
And as it grows, do you want to grow it outside of Little Rock? Or you yeah, wanna... yeah, yeah. So like, we've been trying to grow it outside of Little Rock, but right now, um, that's the home base right now, especially um, it's, it's, it's a poverty city. You know, we have a lot of talented people. Uh, they're talented in what they do, whether it's basketball or football, or they want to be inspired and nurse or whatever it is. Um, me personally, I rep the underdog, not just because of basketball, I rep it because it's a way of life. You know, it's what it is where I'm from. People want to, you know, be things, but they don't have the drive and they don't have the people or the right you know, um, it's the right resources to get there. Support group. So it's, it's, it's just different. Just so I try to use my foundation because, you know, back home, it's a lot of people don't have dads and things like that. They just have a mom and it's mom with three, four kids. So we just try to inspire as much as we can and give a helping hand. Grow that support system for them. Put them in a position to accomplish what their dreams are. That's awesome. All right, now coming back to Milwaukee as the people's champ. Rumor on the street is you've yet to have to pull out your wallet in a restaurant. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. That's, a fact. That's not a rumor, it's a fact. No, it is a fact, but it's just great, man. Just me and Milwaukee have a special connection. Um, like I always say, it's, it's, it's a city that you know works as hard as they can. It's blue call to see them blue call to play. That's, that's the, the slogan right there. And it, it's just a love, a love made in heaven, match made in heaven, man. It's just, being in a city that's always worked as hard, they be pride in themselves in their sports. It's a sports town, big time city that just loves, you know, their players and they love all their guys. So um, having the love and support from them has just been great. And how different has it been compared to the other places you've been? Because we were drafted the same year, yeah. so, and you've been on what four teams? Four. This is my fourth team. Hopefully, it can be here and it can be my last team. But at the same time, um, being in cities like Chicago, um, big market. Um, New York was a big market. Washington's fairly big as well. They love all their guys, but the city and um, the, 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 the owners and the front office want the big names. They want the, the names that sell the tickets to keep fans in the, in the seats, to have a big big um, bill to pay there. So um, it's, it's always pressure in those cities to win. It's always pressure on those cities to have the top guys, the top names, the bigger names. So um, being in Milwaukee, they treat all of us the same, we're equal. They love all of us the same. Um, everybody gets love and support. Our PR team does a great job of promoting everybody and it's just a it's just a first class organization. That's awesome. I couldn't agree more. All right, and now when you came back, you know, I'm I like all different sports, but I got an affinity for baseball and I've I seen you throw out a first pitch. What was that like? How did that feel? It was way, way different. This is my third third time throwing out a first pitch. I threw one at the White Sox when I got drafted. After my third year, I threw one at the Cubs game, and then I threw one here. A lot of fans there cheering on, going crazy. You know, just to have that experience, just throw it out, hear people um, chant my name and things like that. That's just a wonderful experience. You throw a strike all three times? My first one was kind of shaky. I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of a little shaky. He had to scoop it a little bit. Got it, got it. Then my second one got there. Then I really wanted to like throw that one crazy, but Donald Driver went too hard, so yeah, I couldn't he did. really back him up. Nah, he went crazy the day before. <laughs> yeah. Don, I've tried to throw it kind of hard too before, and it ain't. And no I've seen one that video. Yeah, 100%. It wasn't one of my finest moments. <laughs> I told you, it was going, I just didn't know where. Uh, I want to touch on Underdog. I want to yeah. touch on where, where the people can get some merch, what it's all about. I wanted to use this as a platform for you to kind of explain it okay. and grow that brand because I know it's important to you. Okay, so the Underdog started when I was a kid, um, being from Little Rock, Arkansas, from a place where not too many guys make it to the NBA or whatever it is. It's, it's hard making it out of there. Um, you're a product of your environment. People want to do things, but they just get stuck in, you know, and confined in what they're used to. Um, I was able to, um, you know, branch out of that and have um, guys like Corliss Williamson who played in the NBA for 12 years. He was the NBA champion with the Detroit Pistons in 04. Having guys like that to really motivate and push me, coming around him really helped me out a lot. Seeing the things he had, um, his house, um, he had a nice family. All the awards he had really helped push me to get to this point. And the underdog mantra is, it's not just about sports, it's, it's a way of life. Um, you know, when you come from where you come from, all the trials and tribulations, the highs and lows, all the adversity that comes with being in life. Um, you know, whatever you come from, where you come from, you fight through whatever you have to get to. Um, it, it, like, you was an underdog 
before you got to where you got to. And that's why I, I use that, that, that platform to not just about sports, but if you're an inspiring nurse, you're an inspiring doctor, you want to be a guy that cuts hair, you want to be a general manager of a team or whatever it is, you're going to be an underdog before you get there because nobody really believes that you can do it but yourself. Merch, where can we get it? Officialunderdog.com. We're going to be dropping things every other week. And now it's just great to be able to see it come to light. What's the next? Sweatshirt, hat, yeah, yeah, man. We got, a, we got a top and bottom coming out, matching top and bottom. It's the new uh, UD logo. So everything is coming together. So it's, it's been fun, man. We came out with two shirts uh, so far. And uh, just trying to rebrand everything. Got a couple hats, socks, and all type of stuff. Just lifestyle wear. I like that. I yeah, like that. Yeah, lifestyle stuff. All right. Either or. I'm gonna give you two things. You pick, you can explain why, you don't have to on some of them, it's up to you. All right. iPad or laptop? iPad, I don't, I don't like laptops like that. I wanna be able to just pick it up and go. Real estate or the stock market? Real estate. Good answer. Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation, I don't like Xbox. Last Xbox I had was the, three, was the uh, Xbox, what, one? Is it, is it yeah, Xbox, Xbox one? one, yeah, I had one of those. Yeah, I traded it in for a, for a PS4 in college when I got to college. I've only had one Xbox in my life, and I lost a lot of games on that. Ice cream or cake? Ice cream. AirPods or over-the-head earphones? I hate AirPods, man. I, I always I, I done had a hundred pair of AirPods, and I lose them. I don't hate them, but yeah, they're hard to keep up with. Jordans or Air Max? Jordans can't can't go wrong with some J's. Shout out Michael Jordan too, man. Shout out Michael Jordan. Go. Go. College or NFL football? A couple years ago, I would have said college, but I like the NFL now because of fantasy. I play fantasy yeah. football, so I keep up with almost every player. You got now. a nice squad this year? One of my teams is good. One of my teams struggling, man. We struggling. Yeah. I'm one in three in one league and three in one in the other. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. It's all right. Sweatpants or dress up? Dress up. You know I like to dress yeah. up, P. Yeah, sure. yeah, I dress wow. up. <laughs> yeah. Room service or go out for dinner? Go out for dinner. I like to sit down and chill and relax. Different cities. Some of your favorite restaurants. What city? So if I'm in New York, I like a place called Julan. Yeah. Julan's really good. Yeah. I like Chicago too, man. Chicago. Chicago, a nice city. Very underrated. If it wasn't so cold there, people would like it a lot. <laughs> Dunk or three-pointer? Three-pointer. Portis, does he have another? Here comes the three ball, and it's the go-ahead three. Bobby Portis strikes again. Now, next question on that, buzzer beater or poster dunk? Buzzer beater. Oh, all right, staying right. consistent. Yeah. <laughs> Bucks, can they get one more? Portis at the hole. Ah! yes, sir! A little boogie shuffle for Bobby Portis. Luxury sedan or luxury SUV, truck? Drop top. Yep. Drop top. Drop top. Yeah, <laughs> drop, drop top. top. Trevor or Eric? Damn, we gotta do that. <laughs> you can say both. Yeah, I gotta go both, man. I can't, I can't pick. I can't do my guy. Hey, like good man. That. Good man. Dante didn't. He, he picked somebody Eric. right away. Oh yeah. All right, that's all I got for you, man. I appreciate you. Yes, appreciate sir. You. People's champ, man. Heart of the bench mob coming at you. Keeping a PC.